with Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of my Let's Play series of Minecraft, but modded with Direwolf 20's mod pack recently. There was a new update to it, and their thermal expansion was added, which is exciting because that's one of my favorite mods to play with, that and Ender.io, which are both are in the pack. Since you last have been in here, I've gone and begun making a base about three quarters of the way down. Um, actually halfway down um, and on my levels that you see I stop here I have labeled with some signs what we're here here's our main level with our storage base and it's also the coal level so we've begun mining out that way where we've hit a cave and over this way we also hit some I think water hence I patch this up I'm hitting some you know unfortunate spots but that's okay we can mine out this direction you know four directions and always for mining. Uh, thermal expansion, here we've gone and got some energy making machines. Sterling Dynamo, this is perfect for popping in like some sort of burning mechanism to start putting in some energy. And then this one is for magma, should we ever get um, buckets of magma anywhere. Um, so speaking of which, let's go ahead and make a bucket. Um, we've also, because of that, we have begun to make invar and other things that are also necessary in zinc and other stuff. Uh, speaking of, let's finish off. Good. Putting this away, uh, we're going to want to take a stack with this with us a little bit. Uh, we are a little bit low on some torches. There we go reasonable amount of torches. Tiny coal is great, um, so that way it takes one coal per thing to smelt um, generally. So that's great. We did get our first diamonds, which we are going to hoard those because we're going to need them for all sorts of things. The first thing I want to start doing is doubling my ores because that's important, so we're going to need to build some sort of crusher. Um, uh, now the pulverizer thermal expansions version, which might be the easiest to get into. Um, I really like the sag mill from Ender.io, but uh, Pulverizer looks like the least amount of entry uh, issue here. Yeah, that's going to be the easiest. So we, you're probably going to just go ahead and get started on that. Um, and we also need, from Thermal Expansion, some wrench, right? Uh, thermal Expansion, RF Tools. I don't remember where thermal. I guess we could use any. The yellow wrench is fine, but that takes copper alloy. We're not ready to make that. Frame wrench. I mean, I don't know if we're ready to use any of that stuff, but we do need a wrench. But before we do that, let's go ahead and at least make our pulverizer. So let's take a look at that. Pulverizer requires a piston, which I just so happen to have one piston sitting there from making, uh, what did I make with my pistons? Oh, I made this a storage, uh, pocket storage unit thing, which I will open that and show you what that is in a moment. And then we need a machine frame, which makes tin gears, so we'll need some tin, tin, and possibly an iron ingot or nugget to make that. Yep. Boom, tin ingot, tin ingot here. Then we need glass, iron. Do we have a way to make glass? I don't think I have any sand. I don't have any sand. All right, so we gotta go get some sand real quick. That's easy. And then once we have that, we'll be able to make that. So let's go ahead and make this. That's easy enough. And copper gears, which we should have lint. Copper gears are iron nuggets surrounding, or iron nugget, one, two. Round copper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop, pop, done. So let's get our flint. And then we just need to go get some sand so we can get some glass. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So we can start ore doubling everything we get. We've been successful at getting some things, but not everything. Uh, I don't know if we're going to daylight or nighttime, but we have to be quick about this to find some sand. If it's going into daylight, that's going to be a problem. But sand should be out this way. We have no way to protect ourselves, so hopefully the sun is rising. Yes, sun is rising, thank goodness. And let's get some sand. Oh, wow. 
we found like the one place where there's no sand and we have something scary over there do I see a little bit of sand over here? I think I do well, there's an oil over there but yep I found some sand and clay so that's great because we're going to take both We have a little bit of clay at home, but we definitely need sand first. I was not paying attention. source of sand than this. This is not ideal. But I think that will do for now. If we could find a better source of sand, that would be wonderful. I'm sure if we looked at the map I would have seen something, but this will do. It says it's my home, but that's not my home. My home is just off to the side here. But that's okay. We don't need to be exact. I'm not sure I don't have any sand in here. No, it's all food. So yeah, I'm, I truly don't have any sand. So let's, we got what we need at least to make what we need to make some uh, glass. What did I say? I just finished saying I want to make tiny coal. Ooh, what the heck? There we go. I'm like grabbing the wrong thing, trying to put the wrong thing in there. One, two, three, four. And now we should have everything we need. We made our tin gear, right? Yeah, we did. So we have everything we need to make our pulverizer once the four glass is made up. And then we should be able to plug this right into this. Um, I have to get a wrench. I know, I know a wrench is necessary in order to rotate it um, without having to break it every five seconds. So let's let's do this. Break it now. Go get our glass, which should be just about done. Get our pulverizer, machine frame, iron ingots. One, two, three, four. Done. And done. Alright, so we should be able to place this down like that. And that's like. No. Yeah, that's not going to work because there's some. We're going to have to rotate it. Let's see, does that work? It's not leaving it in there, so it must be going into here. And it is. Okay, perfect. So we have a way to now pulverize um, and get some energy yeah, input into there. And we can pulverize our iron to make... I think we can get ore doubling out of this, I think. So we're going to find out. Yeah, perfect. So we could or double our irons, which is great. We're gonna wanna or double our gold when we can. I don't think I have any more gold. So when we get more gold, we're gonna do that. What we're gonna do for all those things. Um, do we have a way to input? There we go. So now I can put a chest on top. should be able to just drop these in. Where is that output? No, that's input.
sure if I'm understanding why it won't take the iron from there. Ignored, low, high, ignored, right? Auto input enabled. There we go. I didn't realize that was a thing. Alright, so yeah, now it'll take and it'll just automatically grind up. Um, and we can do this with another chest. Just steal a piece of this chest here. And we can have you auto output. Auto output enabled. Now, oh, and of course, we can't get access to it. Okay, so that kind of sucks. But whatever. Uh, we go ahead and, and move you. you in here and you and oop, and you right there all right and now we have iron dust and that should even further make iron more accessible except this is not the most efficient way to do this as you see uh, it burns out my coal pretty quickly does generate 40 RF a tick which is nice but this is going to be my main way and I want to really get that as my main uh, source of power because what that's going to do for me is to seriously like automate this and not only that but reduce my use on coal coal liquefaction may be a thing too we do at some point but we gotta see what's possible but so that's where we're at in this series right now we we really don't have much other choice I'm gonna do a smelter deep resonance smelter primitive alloy smelter I love the ender IO series stuff induction smelter is great and all and that won't be too hard to get into um, induction smelter is probably not a bad idea uh, we could do both. I don't know which one's going to be more beneficial for us. Yeah, this will allow us to do iron. Yeah, it does the same thing that um, this would allow us, but probably for cheaper. So we'll probably stick with the induction smelter. So that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. The induction smelter is something we can probably pull off now. Yeah, easily. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, and then once, once that's done, we're going to make uh, everything that we can to hopefully get this all going and uh, not automate but like just make the iron process or making process faster and once we do that we should have resources galore so we'll see you guys all in the next episode when we're doing that because I'm just gonna go continue to mine off camera and then get this uh, up and running a little bit deeper into the thermal expansion series and ender IO because uh, if I can make the ender IO stuff in the induction smelter then I can do all of my alloys. Let's see, redstone alloy. Can I do that? I can only so it says redstone, dust, and silicon, but does that have to be done? No, it could be done in the primitive alloy smelter. Oh, well, maybe. We might have to. We'll see. I mean I like the alloy smelter um from Enderio, so we may do that. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next episode when we've made either one or both of those machines. Um, and we're making some the uh, Ender IO stuff so we can really get to an automation thing. We'll go down mining, come back, dump everything into a chest like this, and then just immediately start grinding away at um, doubling up our, our materials, you know, because that would be great if we can truly do that. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Raw aluminum, yeah. Do it. Just do it all. And just keep it going. It's going to be tough because we're going to burn through a lot of coal. But we'll see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. It's been Chuck Doctor. Please sign up, do whatever you got to do, send a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.